Good morning. Good morning, my people. I'm up this morning. It is a Tuesday morning. I am getting the word. Did you know that you could go to church right in your living room? Yes, yes, yes. You ain't got to go to a building. You can go right here on YouTube. I am feeding myself this morning. I am feeding my spirit this morning uh, through, a, through a wise man, Mr. T.D. Jakes, and he just knows how to preach the word. I want to talk to you about the process. You got to go through the process in order to get to the thing that you want. You got to go through the process in order to be healed. You got cancer right now and you just feel like crap, but you got to believe that you are healed and you got to keep walking. You got to keep hoping. You got to wake up every morning and every day and say that I am healed and I am cancer free. I am delivered and I am free. You got to keep walking that thing out. You got to go through the process because God is working things out. God is healing your insides. God is bringing your white blood cell counts up. God is healing everything inside of you. He's restoring you and making you whole and making you new. You got to go through the process. When you you come into the kingdom of God and you're a new Christian, Christian, it's going to be a process. I'm telling you something. The devil going to come at you, okay? The devil could be fine-ass women, okay? Yeah, he'll send these fine-ass women to come to you because he knows that they are your weakness. Let me tell y'all something. The devil is pretty. Oh, yeah. She pretty. Mm -hmm. You think the devil is the is a man? Uh-uh. The devil is a spirit. And, and, and he can, and he or she, Lucifer, can get inside a woman and, and be exactly what you don't need. The devil is a spirit. If you haven't tamed the little boy inside of you and you continuing to, 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 to think, to move, and to act with your penis, that means every good thing that you see, you want to stick your penis inside of it. Ooh, let me tell you something. You better be careful, bro, because your baby mama is a spirit. And that spirit is going to transfer through your baby. And then mm, some things are going to be tough, okay? So you want to be careful who y'all sleeping with out there. To all y'all rappers out there, you think because you got money, you got cash, you got that dough, you can get any piece of ass you want? Oh, yeah, you can. But the devil out there, too. And he fine. And she fine. And he's sending exactly what you want. He knows your weakness. And your weakness is pretty women. Your weakness is the vagina. Let me tell y'all something. Be careful of the vagina. But anyway, you want to make sure that you are are ready to go through the process and you got to build yourself up to go through the process and during that process you got to stay in the word of god let me tell you something this bible is powerful when you speak it you got to speak that word you got to go through the process you in the process of moving out the hood it's gonna be hard the devil gonna try to tell you you ain't getting out he gonna keep saying all type of crazy stuff every time you think you about to get your foot out the door something gonna come and knock you back but it's okay it's a process god is testing you right now you got to go through the pro process in order to get the reward what God got for you you got to go through the process God got to wean some things out of your life man I smoked weed for 19 years Woo wee did I love to smoke weed oh wait gorilla gorilla glue gorilla zoo uh I don't even know the names of some of that stuff mm -mm. but Lord let me tell you something boy I love to smoke weed I love me some good weed I ain't smoke none of that brown stuff it ain't, can't have no seeds and that many sticks in it I need beautiful green buds with the crystals on it, okay? Because that's where you get the better high. I smoke weed so long. I smoke weed for 19 years. When I turned 18, me and my daddy smoked the blunt together. It was just part of our tradition, okay? And I've been smoking ever since. I pack. I wake up in the morning, I pack a bowl, and I smoke. I started to, I was so addicted, I started to smoke out of pen tops, plastic pen tops. And let me tell you something, that's when I knew I had a problem. I was smoking out of apples, baby, building my own bowls. Don't do that, y'all. Building my own bongs. But I had been smoking for 19 years, and then I heard God tell me, um, it's time to let it go. And I was like, man, it's time to let it go. Okay, I quit. So I quit one day for like 30-some days, and then something happened. And I was like, man, I, I can't deal with this. I need to smoke. But I also knew it was a process. And God told me, he said, it's an addiction. He said, you got, it's going to take time to break that addiction. But he said, I'm with you. And he was with me throughout the whole thing. And I recently just quit on October 20th, um, 2020. I finally let it go. I have no desire for it. But I remember when I started to smoke. God told me, you don't know what type of spirit on that weed. You don't know what type of spirit has touched your weed. You don't know what the devil is doing and he can put that spirit on your weed. I was like, oh Lord, I don't want to smoke that. But every time I smoke, my body will hurt. My feet will hurt. 
I ain't had no pain. I ain't had no issues with that since. But I also knew it was a process. And I want you to know something, that God is with you during that process. Some of y'all right now, you addicted to weed. You addicted, you addicted to cocaine. You addicted to powder. You addicted to heroin. You shooting up and nobody knows. God knows. And he's going to be with you during that process. And in the name of Jesus, right now, at the sound of my voice, to you, the person that's addicted to cocaine and nobody knows that you got that problem, I command you to be free right now in the name of Jesus. The desire for cocaine will leave you instantly. You will not have no withdrawal uh, symptoms or anything. That is the power of Jesus. That is the power of God. It's going to be like you woke up a whole new person and you ain't even going to desire it anymore. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be free. But to those of y'all that are going through something, you got to go through it. It is a process and you got to walk through it. And it's only to make you stronger. Man, I, I, I had a lot of issues going on with my family and it caused depression inside of me. But God said, it's time to let go. And he held my hand through that thing and he walked me through it and I got over it. Some of y'all out there, you depressed because your people don't understand you. Your family don't understand you. They're not supposed to, but God do. There's something inside of you. You different and you different for a reason. God is shaping you. God is molding you. God is building you. And he is about to do something amazing in your life. Don't you give up. You came across this video today because you was about to give up. Don't you give up. God is with you every step of the way. He would never leave you. God got angels assigned to you. Your angels are standing over you. Your angels are over your bed at night. God would never leave you nor forsake you. He is with you in the hood. He is guarding you. He is watching you. You wonder why everybody else's house getting shot up and yours haven't? That's because there is a hedge of protection over your home. God knows your heart. He knows your spirit. He knows you. And he's protecting you because he has something greater for you. And I, I want to tell you something. Don't give up. You keep praying. You keep hoping. You keep believing. You keep speaking life into yourself. And, and then I want you to be careful what you say inside of here that you think nobody else can hear. But God can. The devil can. And the thoughts that you're saying inside of there, they eating you alive. They killing you. So be careful what you're speaking to yourself out loud and inside because your thoughts those negative thoughts, they are killing you physically. You don't have the energy like you used to. Your body hurts. You're tired. Somebody out there, you have a stomach issues. It's because of what you're thinking right now, what you're thinking inside your head. And those stomach issues, you've been having those cramps in your stomach for the last six months. It's because of the things that you're saying inside your head, those negative thoughts. Stop it right now and watch what God do for you. In order to get to the mountain in order to get to the top you got to go through the process it's going to be hard i'm telling you it's going to be hard it is not going to be easy because if it if it was easy everybody would be rich everybody would be successful everybody would be out the projects no nah, it ain't going to be easy because you fighting the devil and he want to make it hard for you. He want to stop you. He wants you to turn back to your old ways. But I want you to hold on. I want you to keep looking forward. I want you to keep believing what God told you. Because what he told you is what's going to happen. It don't matter what your family say. It don't matter that nobody understands this but you. God knows and he wants to take you through. I love you. Do not give up. You got to go through the process. Everything going to be all right. God got something for you and he is with you every step of the way. I love you and everything's going to be okay.